Good morning and welcome to Rock Painting Workshops. Today I am going to paint a cute little sheep with you. I've just got my cup of tea as I go so bear with me. And I've just got a few different colours that I'm going to use today but I'm going to paint in the background some sky and some grass. So just with the sky because you know by now I don't like getting too many thick layers so I'm just going to smush some blue around to represent the sky and then I'm going to take my apple green and I'm going to pop in some grass around the bottom probably two thirds so yeah split the colors up about one third for the sky and two thirds for the grass and you can just see that I color in quite close to the sheep the darker color and then I just smush it out to give that cloudy effect little bit more around his head and just smush that out. I'm going to add a little bit more colour in with shading or later on so we'll see how that goes. So that's it, that's a nice thin layer of, of shading. I haven't gotten too thick with it. I'm just trying to go a little bit darker near the sheep's body and then it sort of gets sparse as you sort of smush that outwards. Okay so it's just thinking about colours. I'll go light pink or uh, okay so I, I'm gonna do two different colors as I do the sheep I've got a darker pink well it's probably just the regular Posca pink and I'm going to use that on the ears the face the tail uh, I might even go the legs I'll just see how I go but I'm gonna do the fluffy uh, wool on the sheep I'll go the lighter pink so the light pink So all these areas are dark. You'll see I'm just keeping that nice thin layer. I don't need to thicken it up at this point. I'll come back and do a second layer after. You just want to do that nice thin layer uh, to start with. So yeah, I think, yeah, I'll do all the elements in the darker pink and I'll take this uh, Posca light pink and I'll just pop in all the fluffy wool areas with that. Okay. And even though uh, these rocks are slightly porous but I still don't try and go too thick to start with. I just take that one layer of the uh, paint pen and I just go do a nice thin layer and I'll let that dry. Okay here we've got now I let that dry, that was one layer. This is now two layers, two thin layers and I'm going to start my shading. So I've got my water and dipped it in the paintbrush. I wiped off any excess water on the microfiber cloth and you can see I'm just dipping it on top of my pens and picking up some color and just adding some shading areas. And don't know that I'm really happy with where I just put it around his face but don't worry, just keep going. The shading sort of tends to make it look a little bit off until you add in the highlights and the outlines. So don't be too shy with it. It's a little bit darker right there where the, the uh, wool looks over, like sits on top of the forehead and gives a shady area. And I'm just going to put in his cheeks and the nose sort of adds a little bit of shadow around the face. And then on the wool, I'll just add that... Um, pink again and I'm dipping the paintbrush in water and tapping it onto my pen and I'm just giving a really watery sort of shading and just smushing that around just to give it a little bit of texture well that not text it's not giving it texture but it's giving the textured look keep going because I'm still looking back at that face and I'm not happy yet but we'll keep going with the shading and I'll just shade in on the grass. So I'm taking that darker green closer to the body because that's where the body would cast shadow. So you don't want to do the darker on the outsides. It's actually darker around the body where you would assume the shadow, the shadow would go. Okay, let's come around.
And I'm going to do the same with the sky, just adding in a little bit of shadow around the sheep. And I'm just blending that, smushing that out with some water on my brush. It's a little bit darker, closer to the sheep. Okay, that's a little bit too much of a line there, so let's just blend that out a little bit. It's getting a little bit harsh. I haven't sort of blended it as nicely as I would have liked to. Uh, now I added a bit of water, it's taking off a bit of blue. Don't worry, we'll come back and see up there where I just took too much of it away. And that's going to happen when you keep overactivating it. You just keep playing with it before it has a chance to dry. Wet paint will pick up other wet paint. It'll just pick it up, take it off your rock. So I'm just trying to add that down. Now, nah. see how it's just picking it up and taking it away. Okay, I'll add in some dots and I'll just let them dry before I touch them. So just add that in. So you can see because I was doing too much work, the wet um, paintbrush on the wet pen, it was lifting up. So I'll just follow through with a bit of this dotting and adding that as part of my shading. So you'll see in where I teach shading that adding dots and lines can also add to shading. Throw in a bit of yellow just so it all starts looking like it belongs. And then I'm Facebook photos, <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> Make sure everyone on Facebook gets the, the shots of how to create it. And I'm just gonna play around because I don't, didn't really want lots of dots sort of hanging about. So I just tend to pick up some color and see there, it took away a bit of the color, but it left little outlines of the color. Dab it on like that, it'll take a little bit of it away and I'm gonna add some clouds in there, I've decided see it's still pulling the trick is and if I wasn't see there where it's pulling up the color if I wasn't on video I would actually just let this sit for a couple of minutes to dry so instead I'm just going to smush some white on it and create the clouds but yeah normally what I would normally do put it aside about two or three minutes it doesn't take long because they're just little thin layers and just let it dry but yeah those clouds work okay we got it working I'll just update that photo for Facebook. You notice how much dust is on my phone now? <laughs> it's all the dust off the rocks. <laughs> okay, and I'm just grabbing my black outline and I'm just gonna start adding in some of the features onto the sheet, like the outlines, and then I'll put the features on, on her face as well. Bit of a bumpy rock. Oh, there we go, just as I said it. Okay, so don't worry, I will leave that line because the rock's a bit bumpy. I went offline, so I'm just going to leave that to dry and I'll come back in a minute and show you what I'll do with that little bit where I went off the edge. And this is the just adding in a little bit darker bits to the tops of the legs where more shadow would come through. A bit more shadow in the inner ear. Just go off to the other inner ear. And just keep going around. Yeah, so when you make a mistake, the trick is don't try and fix it with a wet pen straight away because it will just all bleed into each other. You just want to let it dry and then we'll fix it up in a minute. Okay, a little bit of shadow in the tail. Okay, so it's dry by now because it's only been a minute or two. And I'm just going to dab a little bit of green on it. And I'm just going to hide that black line. So it just fixes up the mistake altogether. Okay, come around to his nose. Still not too sure about the shading on the face. And that, that's the joy of acrylic paint, acrylic paint pens. You can just let it dry you can fix up anything if you don't like it as I said a couple of minutes on the side you can come back and totally change what you want to do just 
especially when you've got a bumpy rock, but that's all right. Shadow and around the bottoms. Okay, have a look at that. I think it's just got to stop and have a look at it and decide what you're going to do with it. If you like it or not, then add some little white dots and dashes in for the highlights so the sun's just shining off the little sheep some back into the clouds. See we've just fixed up that whole cloud area where I just played with it far too long. And add some little bits. Okay. And there we go. I'm not a hundred percent happy with it but what I'll do is I'll put her aside for you know couple of hours on my mat and I'll come back and have another look at her later might add change a bit of the shading but there you go come and share your sheep with us on Reef Rocks free workshops in our Facebook group